Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Super Bowl 4. So today, guys, we're talking to you guys about the UEFA Conference League, Europa League games, and Champions League games. We'll do match predictors here, guys. So I um, hope you guys do enjoy. Remember, you guys, if you're new on here, considering that like button, hit the subscribe button as well as we continue to do our predictions for this week and the European competitions. So we're going to start with the Conference League first, and we're going to go ahead and do this, guys. So the first leg ended, um, I believe it was 1-0 win to Ludogorets. Anderlecht is at home, though, for the second leg. This is going to be very difficult. Um, I'm still going to go with Anderlecht to advance, but it's going to be very close. I think it's going to be, I'll say they win 3-1 after extra time. 3-1. I think they'll win 3-1 after extra time. I have a feeling this game will go extra time, but I do have a feeling Anderlecht will advance. But Ludogrets could make it very close because they did win the first, like, 1-0. So... For Anderlecht here, they have to win this. Like, and if Ludogrets gets a draw, they advance to the next stage. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, Anderlecht still to advance. I'm gonna keep my original prediction, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Anderlecht advance. So, I'm gonna go with them. Okay, Partizan versus Sheriff. This tie is done. Um, despite the fact that Sheriff dominated Partizan at home, I don't see Sheriff doing that here, especially this being on the way and Partizan winning like game one nil. I just think it's over for Partizan. I mean, sorry, partisan sheriff, and so I'm gonna go with a simple. I'm gonna go with a three. I'm gonna go with a two nil win. I think it'll be a two nil win, and um, I just think partisan for me are just too good. I, I think partisan for me are just way too good, and um, yeah, I I don't see sheriff doing anything here. Um, they're just not good enough to be honest. So I'm I'm tempted to play my booster for this one, but I'll make a decision at the end when we do it. So yeah, um, next we have is dinner pro one versus A K Lareka. I originally predicted Dinner Pro 1 to advance. However, AK won the first, like, 1-0. And I have a stinky feeling it could also be... I'm going to unfortunately have to go with the draw. I was hoping that I would be wrong, but I don't know. We'll see, though. I mean, I, I hope I'm wrong, though. But um, I do have a feeling AK Learning Co. is going to advance. I think Dinner Pro uh, it just doesn't have enough. But I am hope I'm wrong, though. hope I'm wrong. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you have Rakluj versus Lazio. I originally played my booster for this one, and I think Lazio is going to advance. I'm going to say they win 2-0. Um, so Lazio should win this, uh, and I'm going to go with, yeah. Let's go with Shiro Mobley to score the goal. And then I guess we'll play my booster here. Um, actually, let's not decide that yet. Anyways, Fiorentina versus Braga. This tie is done. Um, Braga lost the first, like, 4-0. I don't see Braga turn this around. And even if they do turn this around, I don't think they're going to have enough goals in their side. And so, I, I, I just think it's over for uh, Braga. So, I'm going to go with Fiorentina to win. I'll say they win. I, I don't think it will be as convincing as the first leg, so I'll say they win 2-1. A bit, a, bit, a bit more conservative. It won't be as lopsided, but Fiorentina should definitely advance. Like, you know. Like, th 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 there's no, there's not even any point in playing this, so. Yeah, I'm going to go with Yuluka Jovic to score. He's been on tremendous form. Then we have Lech Bozan versus Bodo Glip, guys. This is going to be very, very tricky. But I'm... Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go with Lech Bozan to advance on this one. Because even though Bodo Glip did dominate them in the first leg, Bodo Glip didn't win. And I feel they're going to cost them. And we know Bodo Glip isn't really that great on the road. So, it's going to be very tight. And I'm going to go with a 1-0 win. I'm hope I'm wrong, though, because Bodo... They have everything it takes to win. It's just I just think Lech Bozan, for me, are just defensively um I, I just feel like their home form is just too good so yeah we're gonna have to wait and see though so i'm gonna go with um you know what i'm gonna go with the defender to score actually believe it or not i'm gonna go with the defender just just to have a change of pace you know he's shock okay uh basil versus travis sport travis sport won the first like one nil i did predict basil to advance so do i stick with it um you know what i'm gonna stick with it actually I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to say they win 2 0. Although Travis Spore is good, I just think Basil is just at home. They're just a beast, you know? So. Although, like I said, though, Travis Spore is in a better position because they won the first. Like, obviously, Travis Spore have to. Uh, Basil have to win this by two or more clear goals. So. Let's go with the. Uh, let's go with. Um, let's go with Zakiri. And I think the home advantage will be enough. And again, versus Korbeg, this should be an exciting game. I'm going to go for a two-all draw, which will be in Korbeg's favor because Korbeg won the first, like, 1-0. I think this will be a high-scoring back-and-forth game because Gens are very much a free-flowing, attacking football team. 
Uh, they love to score goals. They love to concede. So, yeah, I, I'm going to go with that. So my booster, I'm going to go. I'm still going to go with Sio for Kluge Lazio because let's be real, Lazio, th this is the one I'm most confident with. However, at the end of the day, anything can happen. Anything can happen, guys. Anything can happen. So let me write this down um, so you guys can remember timestamp-wise. So, Dave, we spent around five minutes on this one. A little longer than I anticipated, so. Okay. Let's go to the Europa League now, shall we? The Europa League, guys. Let's do this. So let's click play now. Okay, let's do the Europa League. So, PSV Sevilla. Now, Sevilla won the first, like, three now. I don't think this will be... Uh, I think this will be a lot more low scoring, considering this is a Netherlands, of course. So, I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw. I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw. However, that will be enough for PSV um, to advance. I mean, sorry, not PSV, Sevilla to advance. So I think Sevilla is just going to do this. Like I said, guys, Sevilla or Europa League Kings. That's just what they're known for, man. And you have to respect it, man. You have to respect it. Okay, um, and I'll go use Inezuri to score. Monaco versus Leverkusen. Um, I'm going to actually going to go. This is a really tricky one, guys. I'm going to go with Monaco to still win this, and I'm going to say they win 2-1. Um, I think Monaco just for me are just too good. Leverkusen for me are just defensively. Um, unorganized. Le Le to be fair, Monaco is uh, defensively not that great too, to be fair, on that regard. Oh, actually, you know, this is actually really convenient. I should be clicking this. I'm going to click this from now on. Anyways, I'm going to go with um, Wurtz. I'm going to go with Wurtz as my goal scorer. Wurtz, okay. Actually, not Wurtz. I'm going to go with Monaco. What am I saying? Yeah, um, I'm going to go with Volland. Yeah, Volland to score. Here we go. Mitchell versus Sporting. Now, this is interesting, guys. Because remember, guys, this first leg ended in a draw. And Sporting just about got a last-minute equalizer. Could we actually see an upset, guys? You know what? I haven't predicted any upsets yet. And you know what, guys? I might do it. I might actually am doing it. You know what? I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to do it do it just for the lulls, guys. And I feel like there's going to be an upset. So I'm going to go with a 1-0 win for Mitchell I Who knows? I could be wrong. <sighs> Maybe I'm valuing the underdog story, but I just I, I just feel like this is there, man. They got to do it, man. They have to do it, man. So, yeah, I'm going to do it, man. I don't know why. I just have a feeling they'll do it, especially being at home as well. Then Nantes versus Juventus. Now, I'm still going to go with Juventus to win, but let's be real, guys. Juventus, if they don't win this, Serious question should be asked. I'm going to go with a 1-0 win on the road. I think this will be a very low score. Uh, but I I'll, I wouldn't be surprised not to advance. Let me put it this way. So Juventus, let's see the goal score. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with um, Chiesa. I'm going to go with Chiesa. Okay, Roma versus Salzburg. Now, this is really, really tough because remember, Salzburg won the first, like, 1-0. So Roma basically have to win this by two or more goals to advance. You know what, guys? I have a feeling this might go to penalties. So I'm going to say Roma wins 2-1. And this can go to penalties. And I'll say Roma wins. So, yeah. I, I think Roma is going to win. I, I think what's going to happen is Roma is going to be... I have a feeling Roma might be 2-0 up. And then Salzburg just all of a sudden make a comeback. Um, to, you know, level the game here. So, yeah. Um, Let's see. Dybella is injured, I believe. So... I'm not going to pick him. So I'm going to pick, yeah, I'm going to pick, you know, I'm going to pick Zaniolo. I was going to pick Tammy Abraham, but yeah. Union Berlin versus Ajax. Uh, Union Berlin should win this. I, I think Union Berlin is just too good. Ajax, they haven't really been that great. So I'm going to go with Union Berlin to win this only just about a 1 0 win. Because, like I said, Union Berlin uh, defensively are really solid. Their attack's not that good, though. So I think they'll struggle to score, but I think they'll be able to keep a clean sheet. And yeah, I'm going to say Union Berlin wins. And I'm going to go with... You know who I'm going to go with, guys? I'm going to go with Becker to score. I was going to go with Sabachu, my American guy, but I decided to go with him instead. Anyways, which one should I play my booster for? Rams versus Shakhtar. I'm going to go with an exciting 1-1 draw. I think Shakhtar will advance. I think Shakhtar, just for me, is just too good at the moment. And um, yeah, I'm going to go with Shakhtar to advance, guys. Sikan... Okay, now we got Man United Barcelona. I will do this in a separate video this preview, so stay tuned for that, guys. Hopefully, that will be out on Wednesday. Um, and so, yeah, let me see my booster. Which one should I play my booster for? This is really tough, guys. Um, I'll play my booster on Sevilla. Actually, no. 
just because they're really confident. Um, this is difficult, guys. Who do I play? You know, I'm actually this is really difficult. Who do I play my booster on? Okay, you're gonna have to wait and see on Wednesday, guys. Maybe I might. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I may. I might do a booster on this one. Maybe I might. Okay, let's go to the Champions League now, shall we? Champions League. Okay, so let's go to the Champions League, guys. We got four games to go. Let's start with Frankfurt versus Napoli, guys. This should be a good game, guys. Um, I'm going to go with Frankfurt just about to win this, but it's going to be very close. I, I, I just think that, for me, Frankfurt is no joke in the Champions League. Um, and, yeah, I just think Frankfurt's a very underrated team. They're going to shine the cup competitions. And, yeah, I'm going to go with my player of the match. I feel like Colomuani is going to be the breakout. Like, for Frankfurt to win this, Muani has to step up, you know. And I'm looking at other players, like, North has to step up, so, Road as well. Don't worry, Napoli is a good team. It's just that I feel like, for me, Napoli, I have, I'm more concerned about their away form than their home form. So, yeah, I, I just feel like, for me, Frankfurt's going to win the first leg, and I think it's going to make things interesting for the second leg. So, yeah. Okay, Liverpool versus Real Madrid. Now, this is a big one. It's a huge one, guys. Huge game. I'm going to actually go with the draw. I think Liverpool is in a good position now. Um, I think they're getting their... Play you can see the form is kind of slowly building with their win over Newcastle. And top four is kind of back on, guys. Um, I think the big worry, though, for Liverpool is that will Nunes be fit for this game? Because I think that's going to be the big question mark. Because I think Darwin Nunes, believe it or not, is Liverpool's best forward at the moment. And so I, I actually think Liverpool may just about get a result in the first leg. So, but I do I don't think Real Madrid is going to lose though. So, I'm going to go with a 2-2 draw. I'm going to go with a 2-2 draw. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, and I think Liverpool will just about edge this because they're at home. And um yeah, I think Liverpool will actually score first. So, I'm going to go my goal scorer. I'm going to go my first goal being I was tempted for Nunes, uh, but Nunes has not really been I don't know if he's gonna be playing this game or not, so that's why I'm kind of skeptical whether I should do. Oh, this is like um player of the match. And who knows if Salah's gonna turn up in this game, so I can't pick Salah. Jota has been, you know, I don't know, man. This is gonna be difficult. I'm gonna go with the And we know Alexander Arnold's in liability, so mm, you know what, guys? I'm gonna go with the wild card and say Bajasitic. This young, promising Liverpool midfielder, I think he'd do something so I'm gonna say he might be the player of the match. <laughs> Inter versus Porto, guys. I'm gonna go with Inter just about to win this one nil. I know FC Porto is really good, but I just feel like for me, Inter is just like one of those teams where they're just clinical, right? And I'm gonna go with Lautaro Martinez. Lautaro is just that guy. He just he's a big guy in the Champions League, guys. He knows how to score these decisive goals. Um, but Porto, don't get me wrong. Porto can definitely make things close. Porto can definitely do things, make things close. Obviously, they have the quality. The Leipzig versus Man City, guys. I am going to go with a... I'm going to go with the 1-1 draw. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with the 2-2 draw as well. A 2-2 draw. I think Leipzig, for me, is a good team. And I think they'll be devastating on the counterattack. I don't think Man City... You know what? I think 2-2 is a bit too high. Let's just go with 1-1. Um, I think Leipzig is just going to create issues for them. And Nkunku is back. He is back from injury, which is a big, big positive for Leipzig. And I'm going to go with my first goal scorer is going to be... Danny Omo. I think Danny Omo will score first. Actually, Danny Omo is injured, I believe. You know what? I'm going to go with Nkunku, actually. Let's go with Nkunku. And my booster, which one? Uh, dude, I'm not really confident in any of these four games. <laughs> this is really difficult, guys. I don't know which one to play my booster for. Uh, this is so difficult, guys. I don't know which one to play my booster for. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to play my booster for Liverpool Real Madrid. I'll play my booster for that one. Because I have a feeling Liverpool might get a result. But we're going to have to wait and see, guys. Anyways, those are my predictions, guys. Remember, guys, um, you guys can join the predictions. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to join my leagues. There's also should be a community post, which I'll be hopefully posting later today. And, yeah, as I said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. But, guys, if you're new out here, consider that like button. Hit that subscribe button as well. Comment down below your thoughts. Comment section below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.